Former prosecutor Catherine Christian criticized the legal strategy of Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr., stating that it is unlikely to be successful in their New York fraud case. New York Attorney General Letitia James is suing the Trump brothers, their father, Donald Trump, and the Trump Organization for fraudulent overvaluation of their assets. During an appearance on MSNBC's Eamon Mohelden Reports, Christian explained the inadequacy of the defense strategy. She emphasized that accountants prepare financial statements and tax returns based on the information provided by their clients, and if false information is provided, the documents will be inaccurate. Claiming ignorance and shifting blame to accountants is unlikely to be a winning defense, according to Christian. She noted that James' legal team was well prepared, with ample documents to counter Eric and Donald Trump Jr.'s testimony. Christian expressed surprise that the Trump brothers were not better prepared for the trial, especially considering their signatures were on every financial statement presented. Additionally, state attorneys possessed emails involving the Trump brothers, further challenging their defense. In a video statement on X, formerly Twitter, Attorney General James accused the Trump brothers of pretending not to be involved in their family's fraudulent business. She highlighted instances where they certified false information to accountants, demonstrating their involvement in the misrepresented valuations. James also discussed Eric Trump's testimony, where he claimed he had never heard of his father's financial statements. However, she pointed out that his emails contradicted his statements. The attorney general concluded with a warning to Donald Trump, who was expected to testify soon. Despite expected attempts to deflect blame, James emphasized her commitment to uncovering the truth. The case against the Trump Organization involves allegations of inflated asset valuations in financial statements between 2011 and 2021. Judge Arthur Engeron found Trump and his adult sons liable for fraud on September 26, with Trump accused of overvaluing properties like Mar-a-Lago in Florida and Trump Tower in New York. Engeron's ruling revoked the corporate certifications of New York Corporation Central to the case, affecting Trump's real estate business. Trump is currently appealing the decision, maintaining his innocence and accusing James of pursuing the case for political motives. The legal battle continues, with the Trump brothers' defense strategy receiving criticism from legal experts.